Y'all have obviously seen me run this formation and a lot of plays within this formation, or maybe just a few plays, but I really want to break down why this is one of the best formations you can go into in basically any football game, Madden, college, whatever, and be successful with. And let's really break it down today for you guys. This is a learning tool. Obviously, it's the end of Madden 24 here. But we have Madden 25 coming up. We have college football coming up and assume this is going to be in there. A slot offset. Now, again, in Madden right now, I'm using this as a spread playbook. Let's just talk about this quickly. Uh, one of my favorite play is post. You guys obviously know that. I do not care uh, what, what the defense is in this case. So the few things we always want to look at when picking formations here. Now, if you're not a professional player, this is for you. If you're on that more professional side, this formation will have its limitations against the better players because they're always going to run what's a little more meta, what's a little more overpowered, stuff like that. But what this allows us to do is a pass and run very effectively. We have a two tight end set here. What it also allows us is essentially a trips setup on, in this case, the left side of the field which allows us to attack the flats, high lows, and all that. We have post routes, and again, we have the run plays. But whenever there is a man meta that is taking over in the games, having the tight ends, two of them, and the running back allows us to have a lot of unbumpable routes, which means that we get really good separation here. That is the first step, and it is really what is key. Second thing that we always want to focus on is Man, you know, you play people and they blitz you and they blitz you and they blitz you. And sometimes you just don't know what to do. Well, what's fantastic here is I can block everybody. I can block everyone. The blitz is coming off the left. I can block my left tight end. Blitz is coming off the right. I can block my right tight end. I can block a running back if I want to do that. You have all the versatility in the world. And again, this is more for the the beginner-ish players, but I'm telling you, I run this formation strictly and I win legitimately 90 to 95% of the games that I play. Now, if I play a better player, it becomes a lot more of a chess match here, but in the wanna sit back, win, relax, we all like to win. It is fantastic to go through here. And I'm gonna break down a few of the plays and a few of the things that I really like about it since, well, we can. If you love sports, you're looking to take your daily fantasy experience to the next level. Check out my favorite app in the entire world right now, Prize Picks. Really simple. All you have to do is pick more or less on a player's projection, and then you can win up to 100 times your money. We're not going to leave you hanging here. If you use code CC when you sign up right now, you can get your first deposit matched up to $100. All you have to do is either click the link in the description, go download the app from the App Store. Either way, you will be set and ready to go. And this way you will not miss out on the weekly specials like Choco Tuesday, which is discounts, Flex Friday, which is a protected entry. So check out Prize Picks today. Again, use my code CC. Thank you guys for all the support. Back to the video. Now, obviously going forward in college football and Madden 25, we're gonna be able to have like hot routes constantly uh, out there, which makes this great. So let's just talk about a few concepts here for you guys. I'm gonna if you want to screenshot stuff by all means screenshot stuff this is how we're going to learn these are just real basic setups that are going to work constantly okay uh one thing we want to do here this is a perfect trips type of setup where we're going to run where you have a flat route you have a slant and you have a post coming across the field here right now obviously the streak is for clearing things out what you can do in this case here, since we can't put that tight end on a slant, uh, this allows us two good man beating routes. It also allows us good zone beating routes because again, we have a high low coming across the left side of the field, which makes things just work very easy, right? And again, you're making a real simple read there. That is a concept that works constantly, constantly within Madden's. Now, again, I'm not picking any specific plays here to show you guys stuff. Something else that we can do out of this formation is obviously corner routes. Yes, corner routes are great. And you can set them up from your slot receiver and have a flood this way, or you can set them up from your tight end in this case, right? 
again you want you usually want three people there this allows me to do that constantly if i don't need three and i feel like someone's running more of a cover too then all of a sudden we can set something up on the other side again you could pick a specific play which already has some of the stuff in there but it doesn't seem like we're going to need to do that going forward which makes this formation even better because normally in the beginning of the years this is not the best thing that you can put out there and run it's a little more difficult because we don't have tight end hot routes well now if we do this is fantastic to be able to do absolutely everything that we can now another thing that always seems to work really well and this will be uh maybe it does maybe it doesn't is the spacing that we're able to get on certain things uh the angle routes from the running back are fantastic for playmaking up on the field again they work really well without the playmaker ability okay so that's something else that we have in our back pocket uh we can always you know that's why i like to use the play post a lot especially early on in the year uh but another thing that people don't utilize enough is the curl flat concept right here now again i prefer it out of post in this situation here but i'm allowing the curl on the b route and the flat there again i am such a big proponent and if you are playing a college football or a madden 25 game if the flats are good well, that means a hard flat really plays a hard flat all right that's a different type of game where when the flats aren't great like in madden 24 it allows me to throw flat routes constantly and i am fantastic and i love throwing flat routes it's the same way that a play like level sale out of this works really well uh, for that as well but again real good passing schemes again you have posts which is again one of my favorites you can it just works so well just stock why do i love having such a good stock play that i don't have to worry about because i can quick hike you i can go fast i can go real fast we're ricky bobby out here you just hike the ball and you're just gonna wait and see what's gonna be out there and again the way you're gonna read it is obviously flats uh if you want to throw a bomb you can uh with the post route works really well because the x post goes across the field very well the corner route from a pulls corners safeties and all that down very well so we have a big advantage there but what made this formation better recently was rpos everyone loves everyone loves rpos they love them we've had them for a long time they've just going started going to other really good uh formations as well but over here it allows us to really do that and again we're in an actual good running formation as well um now a couple other notes about the running here i know we're getting here i'm gonna give you guys a full um full play breakdown something that normally will work uh out of some of the other runs oh one trap is sometimes good sometimes a bad run it is a much better run against four down linemen sets here uh if you really want to go in for it and you have a tell a motion across from your slot receiver you hike it right when it gets to the other tight end this is generally a very good run madden 24 it really wasn't a very good run that's just something to keep in mind there uh this formation again if you are not a professional player is fantastic it is very very difficult to defend but because it's not popular it's not bunch it's not that people don't want to run it everyone wants to someone said this is the best formation in the game i have to do it you don't you don't you have all the options in the world just watch me play in any madden with levels especially when seams are good to throw levels becomes a great play for us here again there's a lot of chaos right now but getting those little seams early in the year seam streaks so early in the year and we have two of them that we can throw again unbumpable routes they go fantastic fantastic oh my god what's crazy yes this is so good again i'm not giving you guys all the plays i'm saying this is a great formation for you guys to come out and start in and again what you will run and what will be more effective out of this 
will depend on how the game actually plays. Madden 23 to Madden 24, different. College Football 25 could be different. Madden 25 could be different. Well, obviously, you will see me doing stuff out of this for those games as well. In a game like Madden 24, the one that we're playing here, posts, super, super good. Levels, less good because that corner route doesn't always work so well. Um, it's still okay. Post wheel shallow uh, is an okay play as well. And you are obviously have your RPO. So I'm going to go into a game. I'm going to talk about every single thing. We're only worried about offense. Let's break it down. Let's have a good time. Again, you guys have any questions about this formation or basically anything else about Madden? Let me know. I know a lot about this game. I've been studying and teaching people how to play this game for a decade now. Legitimately, this is our 10th year. It's pretty crazy. All right. Let's go through this. Talk you through everything I'm seeing, why I'm doing it, all that. Again, it's going to be different game to game. But this is a formation you guys are just missing. You see me run it, and then you go back to whatever else other kind of garbage is out there. I'm just telling you, you like if you like to win, this is great. If you like to get better at the game, this is great because it helps you with the most basic things in the game, which are good year after year after year. And will be good again, honestly. So for this one, um, I obviously post, so we're going to go with now. The first thing I always like to look at is how are the safeties? Now, obviously we have Omaha here, but we know it's a, it's a single high safety. I can tell you it was cover three in the first place. Uh, so my first reaction is always looking at that slot corner is he, where is he going? He comes down. We throw corner out. We see his users not there. It's real basic at that point. That is what we're going to do. I'm going to stick with this here. Now, again, if I see, and I feel like someone is not, uh, setting their zone drops correctly, I'll hurry up on them because I know I have an advantage, right? He can bring whatever, whoever he wants here. Again, he's already worried. So we'll just take the flat again. We know, and that's where my eyes are going to the slot corner on that side. Now, of course you can flip the play and do all that sort of stuff. We could flip it here and really trick him. But now that we know he is really over committing here. I'm going to set up and see if we can get a one play touch sent off. I'm going to block the tight end just for a little bit more time and streaking B should hold that safety a little bit more. And again, we can roll out and we can throw and we might be able to get there. We can't Parm gets their power. The chaos are crazy right now. Um, probably don't throw one play touchdowns on second down or go for something like that. Pause it. Good for you. Uh, but that's the same sort of concept there. Now, I think the reason again, I'm always trying to analyze what, what did I do wrong? Why didn't that work? Cause that normally works. Is it because he brought the safety all the way down into the box and he didn't really react to the streak? It could be it. It could be it. So that's something I'm going to watch out for when we're going to try again, uh, on the next drive here for sure. Even though I'm, I'm going to play like really basic -y defense. I don't really care what happens. Uh, he can by all means score, it's totally fine. Uh, this is just about offense. So if you're looking for like, CC, what'd you do on defense? I'm literally just going to call stock plays and just see what happens. We're teaching the offense. We're going through here. Why does things not work? Why do things work? Uh, that's not a very good one pass there though. He threw a pick. He threw a pick. Uh, I literally could have said he was going to run um, verticals there for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, so I guess he's bringing... The safety all the way down. This is my least favorite thing when someone plays on the corner here uh, because I have to really, really, really like, I, I, I hate when people do that. It's really good. It's a good way to do things against me. Again, he's bringing this guy all the way down. So let's throw a streak out here and just see KO. It was open. It was open, but the KOs will get you. He's doing a fantastic job right here. Um, I just really don't like what he's doing. So let's change it up right here. Let's go with this setup. So he won't really know exactly what we're doing. Uh, <sighs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, okay. But the reason I like using that uh, especially when I see a cover three coming along, not an ideal start for us. That's so fine. Uh, is because that slants normally cross really well against cover three. They really do. 
uh, because by the time that they get across the second uh, third of the middle of the field, the right of screen, uh, they'll just do a better job clearing. And again, by leaving the running back, he just sort of like flared out there. He's going to be pulling whatever route is down over there. So should be pretty good and open for us just in case. And if his user comes, then he's got to go deep to get that post coming across the field as opposed to say uh, the flat route, which would just be there. So that's kind of like my counter to uh, let's just run commit here. Uh, that's my counter to when someone is liking to user the uh, the flats, essentially. He's, he's touchdown. That's fine. We're on offense. And I think it's a good thing that we we there's like a little bit of offensive adversity here right now for us again, because yeah, a lot of the times I, I literally, I will sit back, feet up in the chair and figure out what it is I want to do. This is not going necessarily our way. I'm not sure how he was getting that, but again, we see the slant, right? This is exactly what I said. The slant just sort of cuts through in the right spot there. Uh, that's good. Now, since he is really, really on top of what we're doing, let's try a few different things here as well. Levels. I still really like levels. It, it's such a switch from what I would normally do this year. Um, and where, you know, he is doing his best over here. And so we'll just clear back out across the middle. Again, that high low read I find is a little more difficult this year for me to make, uh, especially with the, um, the millions and millions of KOs. So let's see if we can just kind of catch him off guard here. And the pass rush is, he always got Clay's Campbell. Pass rush really, really gets you. Uh, so let's do the same thing here. Let's see what he focuses on. I feel like he clicked off onto like John. He clicks off randomly. Yeah, we'll just do that again. Really good combo. Let's not get avalanched or whatever, but just make it work. Just make it work. We could run. I guess we could run the ball here. Uh, I really don't like to run until we get closer to the red zone. Uh, normally like inside the 10, just because... Well, I'm not very good at it, as we see here. Uh, but let's hurry up. Let's throw him off just a little bit. He is has to change up what he what he's doing, honestly. I don't even know. What is that? Why? Why? Is, <laughs> it's not a blitz. <laughs> it's not a blitz. Why is Aaron? Is it because it's stick? All right. It might be because it's stick. Uh, if you didn't know, sometimes there are plays that should have just different blocking schemes. Stick can be one of them. And we completed it technically. We technically completed it, okay? Uh, let's see if we can get in there on this one. Again, there are short passing plays, long passing plays. The blocking is different. So sometimes when you get instant sacked on certain plays, it's really because you're calling something like stick. It's, it's, it's just the truth. I don't know. <laughs> There's no way around it. Uh, again, touchdown. A touchdown. We made it down the field. We made the little adjustments because he is doing a fantastic job trying to keep away from what I really want to take advantage of. Uh, we will probably try to go back to the one play touchdown next drive. Let's see if we can get, uh, I was just going to let him score, I guess, here. Again, not really worried about the win, worried about just going through the offensive progression. And we have someone who is, he, I wouldn't say he's adjusting against us, but he's, he's making changes. So we're just going to let him score. Oh, we got a, <laughs> a pick six, a pick. It should have been a pick six. No, 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 no. We're not taking it there. Uh, I'm just running an engage eight. Sometimes it's difficult. Look at him. Look at the boys come through here. Let's see here. Ah, so we do feel like he's switching stuff up. Um, so let's just play normal. Let's just play normal. I'm okay with normal. Again, 
I see him going down there. All of a sudden we see that like the pressure's not there. So what I'm initially was looking at was the slot DB. I guess he was blitzing uh, Carmichael off the edge there. That throws me off a little bit. That means uh, something different is happening here. I probably don't want to just make a blind throw, right? Um, so this looks, I, I would say he's in cover two, probably cover two, right? And it's not there. Just take it easy, right? Do not throw interceptions on first down. Don't do it. You have more downs. I do not like to force anything in that situation. Uh, what we would be throwing here would be the post right now to CD Lamb. It's a really tight throw uh, because we feel like it's cover three. Um, but again, he goes back to this. So we'll just march downfield. We'll take our flat because again, he's just trying to cover two people with one guy. And when he gets really far out of position, that's a bonus for me. That's fantastic for me. I don't have to do a lot. I do love to throw one play touchdowns, but if you're not giving it to me, I'm not going to try to do it. I'll, I will, I will death by a thousand cuts, flat, 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 flat. That's fine. And if he was running man, we would probably call uh, post wheel shallow or the, the slant post version of stuff that we really like. Um, both, but both would work pretty well and it would just incorporate the ideas uh, into them. Again, we'll just run some more engage right here. Uh, he should be able to score. I feel like playing evens at this part of the field. I just do. I just do. I just do. You want it. You want it. You want, you want it. You want to run with Lamar there. Uh, not a bad, I, I, he feels like he's much more of a runner, uh, based on him. <laughs> he keeps running when I'm running in gauge eight. Um, but, uh, so I, I like to take away what I would think uh, a curl a curl is a really good play at this part of the field. Um, not really worried about the running back doing anything. Not really worried about any of that because if he goes to the flat, he's going to get hit. Uh, so we go back on offense. We get back on offense. Again, let's see what he is doing here. We're not in a, a dire situation just yet. Is this, is this man cover two or cover four here? Well, I feel like it's just cover two again. Could be wrong. Um, was not wrong. And we will take that. We will absolutely take that. Again, just watching what's happening. Uh, watch <laughs> Watch the safeties not rotate do any of that. Here he is. This looks like a blitz Yep Yep, it was a blitz. It was a blitz. It was a blitz all your time out uh, Again, how do we know it was a blitz that linebacker that Calvin Johnson was you should he just came all the way up He was all the way up in there Let's see if we can throw him off here because again, especially when everyone has a uh, uh, what's it called? Film study. I feel like they really know what's going on. We called stick again. And what happened? Aaron Donald. I'm not remembering that. Whatever, however he's crashing his line is working fantastically here. Uh, so I'm going to streak here because we see like he's legitimately running hard flats. That's his thing is hard flats. So we're going to try to go to B. Just up the seams, All right? Just up the seams. Just might as well. It's there. This is this is his adjustment. He he feels like blitzing off of that side is going to be helpful, and it wasn't. Um, it was not. Uh, but that's a nice little breakdown there. You guys want more of these types of things? Please always let me know, and I will do it. I'm here to help. I think teaching you guys how to play this game, even at the most basic levels is a fantastic thing. Uh, I hope you learned quite a bit in this video. You'll probably learn some more in some future ones. Love you guys. I'm out. Peace.